Hi. <laughs> so there are a lot of jobs out there that make you feel like a robot. There are jobs that, you know, they don't want you to think for yourself. They want you to just follow instructions. They don't really want you to bring who you are to the job that you do. And the thing that's really terrible about those jobs isn't that they suck to work at, although they totally do. Um, it's that they're such a waste of human potential. Because when we bring ourselves to the work that we do, we really start to care about it. We start to take responsibility for it. And when we do that, we start to care about changing the world with our work. So how do we bring ourselves to the work that we do? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Treat people like humans, be a human. But in order to do that, there are three things you have to bring to work with you every single day. Judgment, passion, and emotion. We're going to start with the easy one, judgment. It seems like something you should be using at work all the time. But when I say judgment, I don't mean just making decisions. What I do mean is bringing the whole of your experience, the whole of the person that you are, to the job that you do. Take responsibility, taking responsibility for what you actually want to happen, and then doing what you think is right. So it still seems like there are a lot of jobs that should be asking you to do that, but pretty much all the jobs that I've worked in haven't, except for the one I'm in now. So when I first started at the job I'm in now, it was actually, it was actually really difficult to function because I couldn't figure out that what they were doing was not telling me what to do, but asking me to do what I thought was right. And when I did figure that out, it was like a revelation. I immediately took responsibility for the work that I was doing. I immediately cared about it. I immediately took pride in the outcome of it. And it completely changed work from a bunch of instructions that you follow into something that you really feel can change the world. And that was amazing. So that bringing who you are to work is the key to that, using your real judgment to make real decisions. So how do we get people to do that? Well, if you're an employer, which I realize that most people in this room are not right now, uh, but you one day will be, probably, um, you have to actually extend your trust to the people who work for you or work with you. You have to say, hey, I think you can do this. Use your best judgment. We'll see what happens. As an employee, um, you have to ask for the trust that you want. It's not, it's not actually that difficult. And the worst thing that can happen is that they can say no. Well, I mean, technically, the worst thing that can happen is that you can get fired. Um, but that's probably not going to happen. Very unlikely. What probably will happen is that they will say yes, give it a try. And even if they don't, they'll probably respect you a lot more for asking. So that's judgment. Very serious. The second one is passion, which is the fun one. So the thing about bringing your passion to work is that it actually, it is about fun. It's about taking the time to play with what you love. So it's not necessarily, you know, talking about the movie that you watched all weekend or whatever um, in front of the office, although that's a fine way to actually bring some excitement into work. What it is about is bringing the inspiration and the passion, the excitement that you have outside of the office into the work that you do every day. So that can be as simple as just trying to look at your work through the lens of something that really excites you outside of it. So for me, I love baking. I think it's really fun and interesting. Um, but it's not just about the process itself. It's about the sort of alchemy of flour and water and salt and then like wild animals from the air that come together and then you come somehow magically there's bread, which is so cool like and weird and strange. And it's that kind of thing. So I work in marketing and we do a lot of things like building apps for companies. And it's shockingly effective to look at something like that through a different lens. So when we're building an app, it's about creating an end experience for the user that is cohesive and is exactly what you want. But there's all these tiny little parts that go into it, and somehow that interaction with them happens in a way that becomes greater than the sum of their parts. And so when I view, view it through the lens of something like baking, where I'm like, how can I make it feel as magical and fulfilling and, and warming as baking, it completely changes the outcome of it. You know, so it's, it doesn't necessarily need to be relevant to the work that you're doing. It just needs to be something that's exciting and interesting. Um, uh, so again, how do we bring it into work? Well, if you're an employer, have people talk about their passions. Bring it into the workplace and make it okay to discuss that. Three words for you, show and tell. It does not get less fun, even though you're not five years old. And it only takes five minutes. As an employee, it's the same thing. Just think about something that you like and look at your work through that lens. That's all you have to do. You can also bake for the office. Everybody likes it, so. All right, so that's two, judgment and passion. That leaves us with the tricky one, emotion. It's a scary subject. It's hard to deal with at work. 
when you do a Google search for emotion at work, what you get is stuff like how not to have an emotional outburst at work, how to recover from having had an emotional outburst at work, how never to have an emotional outburst at work again. So the problem with that is that it's kind of bullshit, and I'm pretty tired of hearing about it. Because ideally, the reason you got into why you're working in the first place is because you care about it. When you care about something, you have feelings about it, you have emotions about it. So you should be able to express those at work. I'm not talking about crying and screaming all the time because that's not productive for anybody. What I am talking about is taking a minute to think about why you feel the way you feel and discuss it with the people you work with and say, how can we use this to move the work forward? So for me, when I'm emotional at work, it's not because I'm tired, it's not because I'm overloaded, it's not because I'm hormonal, because that's not even a discussion we're gonna have. It's because I care. It's because I think the work that I can do can make the world a little bit better. And when it's not going the way I want it to, I'm pissed off about it and I'm like, what can we do to fix this? So that use of emotion at work, that discussion of emotion at work can really be engaging and convincing and motivating for you and the people that you work with. And if you're working with a client, it can really show them how much you care. Sometimes I feel like I care more about the work than the clients do. Um, but when you're like super into it and where you're super passionate about it and something goes wrong and you're like, oh my gosh, we have to fix this, the client knows that you're on their side and that you guys are moving the work forward together. So again, what do we do about it? Well, as employers, destigmatize emotion. That's the key. You have to make it okay to talk about emotion at work. You have to make it okay for people to have emotions at work. You even have to make it okay to cry at work sometimes. And you have to like let people understand that you are all bought in on that. And then as an employee, it's basically, it's basically what I've talked about before. You have to analyze the emotion that you're feeling, and then you have to say, how can I use this to move the work forward? And the best way to do that is to do it out loud, to stop in the meeting where you're feeling frustrated or upset or even like really excited and say, hey, I'm feeling really frustrated because the work isn't going well, and I think we can achieve this great thing. So what do we do about it? And, and here's a really important question to ask, how do you feel about it? Because then you get to have a discussion with your whole team, with your employers, even sometimes with your client, and say, let's all discuss how we're feeling about it and let's all use that collective passion and excitement and emotion and frustration and move that work forward. So that's it. All we have to do is be humans at work. We should all get to do that. We should all get to bring the judgment to make decisions that we think are right, we should all get to bring the passions that make us excited and inspired, and we should all get to bring those emotions that are why we got into the work in the first place. And it's not because it makes work more fun or because it makes us work better or because our companies do better when we do that, although all those things are true. It's because when we care about the work that we do, that's when we start to change the world with it. And that, after all, is the whole point.